Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Fifth Gear Show. This is episode five. Um, as always, I've got my uh, head coach here, Tony Hernandez. I am assistant coach Kale Kirchner, and um, we've got photos today, so we're going to be a little dressed up today. So that's kind of fun. Um, I have one suit. I own one suit, and I didn't want to go with that same suit again this year. That's three years in a <laughs> row. So, um, but. Uh, this week we're going to be talking about uh, the Show Me Showdown that we just swam in against all the Missouri schools, um, and then our upcoming dual meets that we have coming up here pretty soon. But uh, last week we had the Show Me Showdown. Uh, we had teams like Mizzou. Um, we had uh, uh, Truman was there. Um, other big schools like Lindenwood. Um, a, lot, a lot of people in our in our conference. Washu SLU. Um, so it was a really fun meet to be in and to be a part of. Um, overall, uh, what were your impressions, Tony, of how the meet went? Um, I felt it went really well. We did some really good racing, but what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, first off, it was just great to be in a, such a big meet environment with both the men and women's team. Last year at conference, we were split um, women in the, or men in the morning, women at night. So having the whole team together was pretty special. It really felt like a championship meet environment. and. Again, seeing fans in the sand was made a really cool environment too. But we got kind of the whole spectrum of college swimming from the very top. You know, um, watching some of the top swimmers in the nation race from Mizzou, they were it was pretty cool to watch some really fast times. I know a lot of our swimmers took um, a lot from watching their races, but we found ourselves in a lot of close races, mm -hmm. uh, racing Lindenwood, uh, Wash U, and SLU. That really pushed us a lot. So it, it was a big joy and. It was cool to see the guys and girls step up in big ways and compete. Um, such a high level for October too. Um, where compared to last October first, it's just light years ahead. Yeah, and it's I mean basically the meet was pretty much like a championship. I mean almost a championship style. It had that championship vibe, I guess you'd yeah. say. Um, um, no prelims or finals or anything, but um, definitely that vibe with all the teams there and everyone getting pretty amped up swimming against some of the big schools. But uh, as far as how we did, um, we had some uh, really good swims. We had freshmen step up in their first big meet. Um, and the one that really comes off the top of my head is uh, Ava in the uh, relay. She crushed it on the relay, on, on the medley, correct? Yep, two medleys. I think she split like 24 yeah. eight or so. It was mm -hmm. a big, pretty big split. Um, also, individually, in the 100 freestyle, she really showed out, too. Yeah, we our freshman girls, I think, did really well for handling that big stage on the first uh, first meet there. And then, as far as the guys, we had a really big um, accomplishment that kind of got a monkey off our back. Um, we beat SLU. Um, we were going into the 400 free relay down 10 points, yep. I think, 10 points. Um, so we basically had to beat their relays um, to finish ahead of them. And one of our guests on today, Sergio, he was on the B relay. And he kind of set the tone. He got up on the block. He was making – I mean, I've never heard him do this. He's making noises <laughs> and, like, and, like, making, like, jacked. gorilla noises. I'm like, oh, this is it. This is in the bag. Um, so he killed it. And both four free relays, I mean, crushed it. We had a – the A came out right after that and just smoked it and put one of the one of the best in season relays together that we've seen. So going into later in the year, mid season meet, that's awesome to see that that they got the potential to go crazy fast later on this year. So what were your impressions of that relay coming down as far as the guys and slew and all that situation? Well yeah, we well we we really didn't check team scores until about um I think oh. after the 200 free or right before the 200 like free either relay. back or the yeah, it was around there. Yeah. yeah, and we saw we were I think at one point down by six points or so. We took a lead after uh, the 200 freestyle relay, and I think after the 100 breast or so, it's when we were down by 10, and we we knew we just had to crush the relays. And like like you said, Sergio stepped up. Uh, he was just off his personal best time in the 100 freestyle. He doesn't get to swim it too often, being mm -hmm. a distance swimmer, but. He set the energy for that to, for the end of that meet, close us out, and then we had some really gutsy swims. John, who will also be on in just a moment, uh, a great 46 on his relay leading us off. Uh, I think one of his personal best in-season times in the 100 freestyle. Uh, Guillaume, who will also be on. Um, and then Aiden, a really gutsy swim. I, hmm. He took his first 50 out in the relay in a 20-point. In a 20.8 or so. Almost ran the, it was Lindenwood? Yeah, it was Lindenwood. Yeah. We barely got touched by Lindenwood. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, but it was just, it was fun to see them compete at that level again. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was, it was exciting to have a crowd there. You had, you know, at the end of that relay, got super loud at the end there and especially with all the swimmers on the side with the guys and the girls there it got extremely loud so always fun situation to be in and you know that's the kind of thing we look forward to as far as mid-season and and especially like our conference meet but um what we want from you guys um is leave any any comments in the comment section ask us any questions that we want that you want answered um, we'll do our best um, next week when we have our show. We'll answer those questions, so don't be afraid to leave us one down there. Um, and we are going to have the three amigos on here, the three Spaniards here in a couple minutes, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, we are back with our guests today. We have the three men from Spain. We have Sergio, John, and Guillaume today. Um, so they've been, John and Guillaume are juniors this year. They've been with us for, I guess, two and a half years. Sergio is a senior. He's been here for three and a half years. Um, so basically, guys, we want to ask you, um, what's been your favorite memory so far this year? Or, I mean, over your time with the team these past, Sergio, three and a half years, I guess. Well, I mean, the best memories I have is basically practice with all my teammates. That's all I like. And another thing that I will say that I like a lot is that I can, that I have a lot of time for free and I can do is more swimming by myself. I can do weights, I can go running and everything. That's a good thing that I like. Sometimes I like to go to the Blues games or some baseball games and also some activities in Ansel. But yeah, that's all I like, the experience that we have in this university. Okay, um, John, how about you? My favorite memory, I would say that relay against Lewis, last relay of the meet, and we were losing till I got into the water and I touched the guy and won, won that meet. That was pretty good, a memory for me. That's where my finger wave came from. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen John's finger wave, it's, uh, it's kind of going down as a historic <laughs> Uh, moment and I think people remember it. at least I'll remember it always and he's kind of incorporated it more and more and I sometimes I think he sandbags a little bit so he barely beats a guy so he can just do that <laughs> um, I hope he's not doing that but sometimes I feel like he might be doing yeah, it likes to make it interesting for us yeah and where, where did that come from like wh what gave you that idea as far as the finger wag thing is that is that from like basketball players doing that or yeah. what I watch a lot of football, yeah. and I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan. <laughs> <laughs> and one of their players is Patrick Queen, and that guy always did a no-no whenever he got a tackle or a sack, and so that's where it came from. Okay, so not a ba I thought it would be from, like, a basketball player if they make a block a shot or something. Um, Gim, how about you? For me, at least this year, my favorite memory is um, that show me showdown in Mizu. I think it was great for all the team. I think we put um, some work into and we swim like great races, honestly. And in general, the two and a half years I've been here, it's like, even though it was really rough for me at least, the training trip in Arizona was great. We enjoyed a lot, the t all the team together, the environment, the work ethics and everything was great. So I'd say that training trip was pretty good. I, uh, I, th I think Tony will agree with this too. Like one of the, f that was one of the funnier things is when we went to that training trip and Guillaume, or the first day, Tony came up to me and G he goes, Guillaume looks so bad right now. <laughs> he, 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 he was just really tired. Because, I mean, look, you take like a week and a few days off of swimming, it is it kills you instantly. There's not really like, oh, I can just get right back into it. You know, a week long of uh, paella and yeah, tapas back at home. <laughs> yeah, all, <laughs> make it. all the food that my dad makes at home, I can I can stop eating. So it was I was in a bad shape at that moment. <laughs> but he he turned it around about halfway through. He, he looked way better towards the end there. But that's something I always remember about that training trip. Just he just looked just just a little sluggish, like he ate too much. <laughs> Uh, so guys, I'll go back to you again. What's your what's been your favorite um, thing to do here in the states since you moved over here, going to school? Um, honestly, I'm loving the experience here in the U.S. Um, I think I 
fit pretty well in the culture that we can find here. But um, eating one of the, the things that <laughs> I enjoy the most <laughs> in my life, for real. I love eating all kind of foods. And like there's a lot of variety of foods from different cultures. So I'd say food here, even though it's different from Spain, maybe it's not that healthy, <laughs> but I still enjoy it a lot. So uh, um, other than the team, the teammates and everything, eating is something really important <laughs> for me. What, what's your record for all you can eat sushi at Sushi AI? How many uh, rolls? Yeah, so I, I, we t I, took uh, I took Gim to sushi one day with Gabo, and uh -huh. um, this guy put me to shame on how many he eaten. What's the record? I, I don't know. It was like more than 50 something like that <laughs> yeah it was a lot Jesus. and then yeah. we've uh we, we did sushi we did uh we did a brazilian steakhouse oh, one yeah. time and this guy just like i i don't know where he puts it to be honest because um it's pretty impressive so we're actually going to be doing we're trying to get this organized but mm -hmm. we're trying to be doing the the texas roadhouse roll challenge where you got to eat 100 and what 50 rolls or whatever 140 rolls between seven people so we're, we've been training for that mostly, but uh, John, how about you? Uh, just to let it clear, I'm also American, but okay, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can be considered a Spaniard. <laughs> but uh, best American thing to do, a uh, sport that we don't have in in Spain is baseball, and I've been watching a lot of baseball lately. Pretty hurt about the Cardinals' loss on Tuesday, but it's whatever. I'm basically, yeah, I go to baseball games, hockey games, all stuff like that. And another big thing for me is to eat too. So barbecues, <laughs> any type of stuff like that, it's great. Yeah, and I, when you guys went to the Blues game, was that your first Blues game that you went to yeah. a couple weeks ago? Yeah, it is because usually regular season tickets are really expensive, so we went to preseason. Yeah, and uh, we hope – I hope I can get into there um, – it, does, it seems like it's going to be actually pretty cheap because, you know, you got to have your vaccine card and all that stuff. So might shy people away from it. Um, and Sergio, how about you, bud? Oh, actually, actually, I think I like the different culture. So living with people from America and the difference that they have between my culture and their culture, that's like something that I appreciate and I like. I like a lot to practice with them. And also, yeah, as an American experience, I will say food, for example, and also every single kind of sport that we don't have in Spain, as John said, baseball or football. Th those things, I, I like it a lot. I love soccer, not gonna lie, but football is a great sport too, so I enjoy to see it sometimes. But yeah, that's, wh that's what I like, a different culture and living the experience for the next four years. And one of the funny things that Tony and I used to, well, we haven't done it this year, I don't think, but we would have uh, Sergio and Gim basically in a heated argument by just saying, like, <laughs> Messi is better than <laughs> better than Ronaldo or something yeah. like that. And it just, just to egg them on, and then they would just go off on their own tangent and start arguing about that. But it's pretty fun to watch. The answer is clear, though. What is it? <laughs> Messi. <laughs> 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 See, all you got to do is say that, yeah, and then it starts. Them kick sets are on their boards, and they're just chirping the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys for being on today. Um, we appreciate you very much, and we're glad you're on this team. And I know later on this year, you guys are going to be super important to what we're doing. So thank you guys, and uh, Tony and I will be back in a second. All right, we are here with some uh, final thoughts today. Um, picture day today. Um, we always have it in the quad out kind of in the middle of campus, and it's a little hot today. It's probably like 85, 86, something like that. So we're all worried that we're going to be sweating. I mean, I sweat a lot, so I'm super worried right now. <laughs> but uh, uh, Sergio and uh, John and them wanted me to mention that Top Golf is essential to their to their uh, experience here in, in America. So John's always asking me, like sending me videos and like, hey, how's this swing look? So <laughs> I know they really like doing that. But uh, picture day, Tony, how, how do you think our squad measures up as far as uh, our fashion statements? Um, I feel like we've got some pretty good. Uh, uh, I don't know what do you parody with different kind of um, outfits and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm interested to see. The girls always look great. They like they live for picture day because yeah, they, they usually we only see them uh, in their caps and 
Franz was saying earlier today, puffy eyes from the yeah. goggles and everything. So they love getting all dressed up. The guys, uh, I'm interested to see the shoe game. Yeah. Um, what we're doing with the collars, because a handful of people are going no collars. Some people are going the turtleneck. Mm -hmm. uh, different, you know, accessories, chains. Uh, I think John's got a ring he wants to show off a little bit too. But it, it's fun to get everyone dressed up. Yeah, and uh, I think we were kind of kicking around the, the idea of like just wearing like warm ups for our picture, and that's I think that's when the girls kind of put an end to that. <laughs> I feel like, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's kind of the signal that our season's about to start. I guess the dual meet season, so that's always kind of a it's a fun day. Like we get to have practice in the morning, and then we just kind of get to relax till the afternoon and. Um, and take our pictures, but we had some recruits in today. We showed them around, um, trying to get them the lay of the land. And uh, but yeah, we've got our uh, first dual meet. I guess it's a tri meet next week um, between uh, Maryville and William Jules coming in. That's Friday and Saturday. Friday is at five, yep. and Saturday is at ten in the morning. Um, and that's also we're going to have our. Or like our parent dinner on Friday night as well. So that's pretty exciting to have all the parents back finally. I mean, I, we haven't seen some in two years pretty much. So that's going to be a, a pretty exciting time, and we're look, really looking forward to that. But as far as your sport, sports world update, I think last time we were talking about the Ryder Cup, yep. the USA won. Sorry, guys, over here, Europeans, they got smashed. But uh, Their countryman, uh, John Rahm, Rahm. He carried the team for sure. John Rom did carry the team, but man, he couldn't carry the whole. It was too much to overcome. But uh, Cardinals, John mentioned earlier that they lost uh, two nights ago. Pretty brutal. It was. It seems like they kind of reverted to old Cardinals team, and they just couldn't hit. And it was, it was kind of rough to watch. I mean, I know you said you fell asleep like in the eighth <laughs> inning. Or something. I, I fell asleep like right before. <laughs> I don't remember who it was that hit the walk-off home run. Uh, Chris Taylor. Yeah, so right before he went to bat, and I woke up as, as he was crossing <laughs> home plate. <laughs> like, that's probably the worst thing. Yeah, I stayed up for no reason. I had just a really bad feeling, and I know one of our swimmers, Austin, was texting me. He's like, oh, we're looking pretty good, and then it just gradually got worse. He's like, uh-oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. So, so the fast lane was talking about uh, what they're going to do with Mike Schilt. Yeah, I heard that too. I'm not a big Mike Schilt fan. They're probably going to renew it because, I don't know, they just do that stuff. But um, hitting coach needs to be fired. I'll go tell him that right now. Hopefully he's not a viewer on the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably not. But uh, uh, other than that, um, we will have your show next week. Not really sure who we're going to have on. It's just kind of up to their schedules. Um, we either might do it pre-meet or post-meet. I'm not really sure yet. But – um, we'll have a highlight video of that meet and the parents' dinner. And we might have a little highlight video of the picture day today just to see kind of behind the scenes of what we do for pictures. They put warm-ups on because we do, like, little intimidating, like, we're going to beat you up pictures for, 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 like, meet days. We got one kid, Ryan Dorsey. If we're sitting in here and he's standing up at taking a picture, he'll laugh the whole time and he can't make a serious face. So it's I don't know if we're... I don't know if we're going to leave or just stay in here. I kind of want to see it. I know. I want to see if he can be a straight face. But <laughs> got seniors that are going to be putting some tech suits on. Yeah, so we got really suit wearing them. today. Yeah. So that'll be a fun day today. So um, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, turn on the notifications. And remember, um, put ask questions in the comments, and we'll uh, get to those next week. But thank you for watching. Keep it in fifth gear and keep going fast. Thanks.